Hi, my name's Steve Ray. I'm here with UK Planet Tools today at the Makita UK headquarters in Milton Keynes. Today we're going to go through the new outdoor leisure range available in the olive colour, going from cooler, warmer boxes, kettles, coffee makers, to lighting, to radios, and then to USB adapters for charging your devices. Let's have a look at the products in more detail. We're going to look at the CW cooler warmers from Makita. So we have three versions here, the CW001G, which is the 20 litre cool box, the CW002G, which is our 50 litre cool box, and the CW003G, which is the seven litre cool box. All three cool boxes have exactly the same features and they run and, uh, at exactly the same temperatures. So they both go from minus 18 all the way up to 60 degrees. So we're just gonna concentrate on this smaller unit, but all the features we talk through are available on all three units. So to start off with, you have your storage compartment, which has all got latches on each one. So we lift that up, which then allows us to put in whatever food or drink we want to put into the machine to cool it or warm it. On the right-hand side, we have our battery compartment, which you can open up. Now, all three machines, again, will take XGT and LXT batteries, as well as run off a in-car charger or a mains charger, which is an optional extra. Um, all three units also have USB charging, which has got a five uh, amp hour power source. So for charging iPads, uh, laptops, that type of thing, they are all more than capable of doing it off the USB port chargers. The control unit on the front of the unit has your power on button as well as your settings. So if you're cooling, you can put it into the cooling setting. And obviously if you're warming, you put it into the warming setting. As I said, on the cooling setting, it will go from minus 18 to 10 degrees. And then when you put it on the warming setting, it will only allow you to go from 30 degrees, 30 degrees up to 60 degrees in temperature. On the front of all the machines as well, they do have a handy little bottle opener. So if you do need to open any bottles, that there is on exactly the same place with all three machines. Um, and they do all have nice large carrying handles. So on the bigger machines, you've got the large handle on the front and wheels on the back so that you can move it around into position. On the smaller one, obviously being the smaller one, we just have a nice big carrier handle on the top. Again, with this one, you do get in the box and with the medium size 20 litre, you do get a shoulder harness. So if you put that through over the top on the bigger one and then in the top of the handle on the smaller one, you can then shoulder harness it over to make it easier to carry around. So that is the CW001G, 002G and 003G, all available in this new olive color, as well as the original Makita blue and all available on the UK Planet Tools website now. Now we're gonna have a look at the coffee maker and the kettles made by Makita. So the coffee maker is the DCM501 and we then have the kettle available in twin 18 volt, which is the DKT360Z and it's available as well in the 40 volt XGT as the KT001G. So we look at the coffee maker first, the DCM501. So as you can see, the unit is built in, self-contained. There is no mains power to the unit, so it only runs off of batteries, which it will take LXT and CXT. So by sliding that over, it will expose your 18 volt LXT, slide it to the other side, and we now have the 12 volt max CXT side. So it can run off of either two of those platforms. Then when we're selecting our drink, you have two types of containers for depending on what sort of brew you're gonna be making. So if it's just a coffee pod, which is a 60 millimetre coffee pod, which is similar to a tea bag, which just sits in the top of the machine, we can put that into that unit, which then slots into the top, turn the power unit on, and the water will filter through from the coffee pod or if it is granules that we're using that are pre-grind granules, we can open that up. Inside there, you've got your filter sieve, which you can remove and wash if needed. Fill that with the amount of coffee you would require. Close the lid, and we then slot that in at the top so that we can then percolate our coffee. The cup itself comes with a non-drip lid, 
So as you can see there, you've got your Makita coffee mug that comes as standard. We then have a cap with a through hole on the top so that it doesn't splash any of the water where we don't want it to go or cause you self injury. And then on the front of the machine, we just have a nice and simple power on button. So once you've put your water, your coffee, your batteries on, just push the button once, that will illuminate red, and then that will start the percolating stage. In the top of the lid, we have our compartment for our water. You can then take that out and fill that with 240 ml of water and then place it into the top of the machine. And then a handy little measuring spoon at the top of the lid is there to measure out how much coffee you're gonna be putting into the coffee pod before you put it into the machine. And that's tucked away in a nice little holder at the top of the machine. It also has a nice portable handle on the top, so for moving around the machine, you can carry it by the carrying handle. So that's the DCM501, available in the new olive color, but also still available in the original Makita Blue. We then look over at the DKT 180 uh, 360Z kettle, which is available as a KT001G in the 40 volt range. Now the difference between the two of them is on the back. So this one here houses two LXT batteries and it will do the 18 volt three amp hour all the way up to the six amp hour batteries on there. And it's two of the batteries run together to give it the 36 volts. So they must be on the machine. The same again for the KT001, which will just house your XTG batteries, which will take from the 2.5s amp hour up to the eight amp hour batteries on the back of that. The front of the machines are identical as well as the kettles that you get. So both of the kettles hold 0.8 litres of water. They both sit nicely onto the compartment there. They can go handle to the left or to the right. There is on the top a spill button as well. So when you are boiling the kettle or not using it, if you push the button down, it will lock the lid so that it covers the front um, tip nose so it won't allow anything to drip out. When we want to use it, we just push the button in and that will now allow us to pour the water freely. It also has a lock mechanism on the top, so when you want to open the top up, you just squeeze the two grips on each side, which will allow then expose you to the container in there, which holds, as I said, up to 0.8 liters of water. The machine on the bottom as well also has, for uneven surfaces or if it's being moved around, when the machine is on, there is a tilt sensor button, which needs to be depressed when used. So that, when it's sitting on a flat surface, connects and it will allow me now to boil the kettle but if i lift it up in use it would switch the kettle off and won't allow me to boil it again the same as the coffee maker with this machine once you've got your batteries on water loaded we just push the button at the front which will indicate um, with a light color and it will change to a red color when it's fully boiled so that is the dcm 501 coffee maker as well as the dkt 360z and available in 40 volt max as the KT001G. Now we're gonna have a look at the ADP05 USB LXT adapter from Makita. Quite a simple device, all it does is slot onto your battery and allow you to charge two USB devices at a time. So the unit itself, LXT battery fits on the bottom. On the top of the unit, we have a large belt hook on the back, we have an on-off switch and then two USB ports. The two USB ports both give out an output of 2.1 amp hours, so they have got plenty of power to be able to charge iPhones, iPads, Android phones, and laptops. So with the unit, all we do is slot it onto our 18 volt LXT battery. We take our USB device, plug that into one of the USB slots. They both deliver 2.1 amp hours, so it doesn't matter which one you put it in. We can then plug our phone into the unit and turn on the on button on the top and that will now charge our USB device. That is the ADP 050 for the Olive or ADP 05 just for the standard Makita Blue. Continuing the outdoor leisure range, um, unfortunately due to the British weather, we have had to move indoors for this. Um, but we're now gonna go through a couple of the products, which it does help indoors to show you the features and benefits of these machines. So first up, we're gonna show you the fans. So we have the DCF102Z, which is an 18 volt fan available in the Olive, as well as the original Makita Blue, which is both available on the UK Planet Tools website now. Uh, the machine itself, or the fan itself, has 
A tiltable head, which can tilt up and down as well as left to right. We then have on the front, we have three speed settings. We have a power on button. We have a timer function. So if you do want to set the fan on before you go to bed and turn off in half an hour, you can do it by the timer function. Um, and then you have the oscillation button. So whether you decide to have the oscillation on or off, you can decide with the button on the front. On the back, you do have a lock off for the tilting facility on the fan. And then there is a big carrier handle on the back, which you can use also as a hook. So if you want to hang it in places, you can do that. With the fan itself, on a low setting, you will get 120 meters a minute in speed. On the medium, you will get 150 meters a minute in speed. And then on the high setting, it will give you 180 meters a minute on the high setting. And that's your air speed on that. To go alongside them though, we do have some larger fans. So if them air speeds are not quite what you need or require, we do have the CF001GZ, which is on the 40 volt platform. Uh, it has the same functions as the DCF102, although it's just on the larger scale. And then to go alongside that, we then have the CF002GZ, which again is the next size up from that one. Same features and benefits as the DCF102. This one again is on the website and it is available in this blue color. Um, the only major difference between the three is on the high speed, 180 on the smaller fan, Medium fan, the CF001 is 190 in meters a minute, and the CF002 is 240 meters a minute on the high speed on there. So all have the same functions, it's just the air speed on the high that changes from 180, 190, up to 240 meters a minute. So that is the new range of fans from Makita. Next up, we're gonna show you some new radio lanterns from Makita, available in the olive green and in the original Makita blue. So we have the DMR055 and the DMR056. Now, as well as the DMR056, we do have exactly the same radio lantern available as the MR009 on the XGT range, which is available on the UK Planet Tools website as well. So just going into the radio lanterns now, the DMR055 is the entry level. So the radio lantern itself has just the lantern on the exterior of the machine and then you have the AM FM radio. So it is just an AM FM radio on there. Simple tuning controls as well as volume up and down and your power on button on the front of the machine. And then with the lantern itself, you've just got an on off for the light function, which if I push the button here, soft light up. And then when it's in that function, if you push the button once more, it will give you a different brightness and then hold the button in to turn the lantern off. We then move over to the DMR056. Now with the 056 it adds some features that the 055 doesn't have which is instead of an AM FM radio you now have a DAB plus tuner as well as Bluetooth enabled as well so you can play your music from your phones or other devices. There is a USB on off power supply as well. So if you do need to charge your phone up while you're listening to your music through the Bluetooth, you can connect it through the USB port and charge it while you're listening. The other functions on this as well enhance the lighting effects. So we have a power on button, which again, soft start, but you can see this is a whiter light on the LED side. With the light button, we have brightness settings, which is two brightnesses. So obviously a little bit dimmer and then your bright mode. And then the ambient light settings on this, we now have three instead of one set ambient light. Now with the functions on this lantern, on this one particularly, you have the full light. We then push the power button again, which will then give us a half light. We then push the button again, which will then allow us to see a flashlight on the top. And if we push that button again, it will turn that flashlight into the SOS signal. So if you need that, you do have that function on there as well. We can then push the button again and it will go back to our normal lanterning. So to turn it off, we just hold our finger on the button and that will disable the lighting. So that is the DMR055 and 056, as well as the MR009 available on the XGT range. We're now gonna look at some new flashlights from Makita in the olive range as well. So we have the DML806 and the DML812. The DML806 is 
this stick flashlight. With this, you've got obviously the round tube lighting, which will do half and full, and then we have a flashlight on the top. We have lanyard hooks placed around the lantern as well, so if you do need to tether it off for anything, you can, as well as a nice handy hook on the top to hang it in places where you need to go. So if you're working under a car bonnet or things like that, you can hang it wherever you need it to be to light up the area. With the torch itself, we've got the 18 volt battery on. So with that, we can push the front button, which will give us our tube lighting, push it one more time to give us our half lighting. And then if we push it once more, it will then go into our flashlight, which comes out the end. So that is the DML 806. We now move on to the DML 812, which is more of a work light. Fully adjustable head, so it allows you to tilt it into the position you require, as well as a joist hook on the top as well, so you can hang it in places that you need to hang it in. Lanyard hooks strategically placed around the machine as well, so if you do need to tether it off on anything, you do have the option there. Then when using the machine, we've obviously got the battery on now, so you have a mode button on the bottom which selects your mode, and then you have a power on and off button on the top of the trigger. So we can turn the light on, which will turn it into the full mode. By clicking on the mode button now, we can then go into the single light, the outside light, and then back to full light. And then if you need it, you do have this flashing function. So hold the button down and then it will go into flash mode. Push the mode button once more to take it out of that mode and then push the off button on the top to turn the light off. So that is the DML 806 and 812, available in this new olive green color, as well as the standard original Makita blue. Thank you for watching the new outdoor leisure range products from Makita, all available now at UK Planet Tools and on their website. They're available in the olive green and the original Makita blue. See you again soon.